Welcome back everybody to the Crypto Ellis channel. In today's video we're going to be talking about Litecoin, why I believe Litecoin is undervalued at its current price, what I believe Litecoin can do in 2020 and 2021 price wise and why I believe Litecoin token can go up in value. But before we go any further don't forget to like, comment and subscribe and hit that bell notification so you're always notified every time I upload to the channel. Litecoin is currently at 48 dollars we got a market cap of 3.1 billion 24 hour volume at 2.2 billion this is good because it's showing a lot of people are using litecoin on the exchanges then the circulating and maximum supply is 65.1 million and 84 point 84 point just 84 million so you can buy litecoin off pretty much any cryptocurrency exchange and it went to an all-time high in december of 2017 just past three hundred and thirty dollars you can also buy litecoin with debit or credit cards but i would advise against this because the fees are usually a lot higher so i made a video on litecoin in november of 2017 and this was when litecoin was at 58 cents let me just show you quickly 58 cents as you can see here and i predicted it would go to 300 dollars in 2018 but it did go to 300 dollars one month after this video so that is good for anybody that did watch this video because it was one of my most viewed videos on youtube so what is litecoin litecoin is basically a quicker and easier version of bitcoin the cryptocurrency for payments based on blockchain technology i do believe litecoin is the second oldest cryptocurrency because it was a fork of bitcoin all the way back in 2011 comment down below in the comment section if i am incorrect or correct about that fact is litecoin the second oldest cryptocurrency or was that ethereum i believe it was litecoin or it might have been another cryptocurrency that nobody's ever heard of but yeah so litecoin is a peer-to-peer -peer internet currency that enables instant near zero cost payments to anyone in the world litecoin is an open source global payment network that is fully decentralized without any central authority so open source software blockchain wallet encryption and mining rewards so the mining rewards is you basically can mine litecoin exactly like you can mine bitcoin and then you can get rewards from it also litecoin does have lightning network basically where your transactions are going to be quicker than the normal litecoin network so this is the team behind litecoin foundation as you can see right here and this is their main man here charlie lee he was the founder of litecoin all the way back in 2011 so what is the Litecoin Foundation? The Litecoin Foundation is a non-profit organization registered in Singapore with members all around the globe who share the same mission of advancing Litecoin for the good of the world and developing and promoting state-of-the-art blockchain technology. 100% access, 100% control and for the 100%. They want Litecoin to be able to be sent all around the world and instantly. 100% control, you control your wallet and 100% access, you can access Litecoin anywhere around the world by making deposits, withdrawals, transfer anytime and anywhere. So why do I believe Litecoin can go up? There's a few reasons which I will show you right now. So Expedia has partnered with crypto service traveler.com for crypto bookings and litecoin is one of those cryptocurrencies that they have added on to their website so this is great because you can now pay for your flights and your hotels with litecoin and all of these other cryptocurrencies but we'll talk about litecoin in this video so this is good for litecoin because they're going to get more publicity more people are going to potentially use litecoin to book flights and hotels also litecoin is trying to become a privacy cryptocurrency so they have already kind of solved the issue of scalability they've solved the issue of how quick they want their cryptocurrency to be so their next advancement is they want litecoin to become a privacy cryptocurrency or have a privacy update as you can see right here this would be fantastic because i believe if this was to happen to litecoin more people would use litecoin because a lot of people are going more towards now the privacy cryptocurrencies where you can send that cryptocurrency and then nobody's going to know the government's not going to be able to see it nobody's going to be able to snoop on your cryptocurrency if litecoin could do this i believe that would open up litecoin to a newer audience and that is the privacy cryptocurrency audience 
Litecoin has also partnered up with Atari. So Atari is a gaming company. They've partnered up, them, up with them for the upcoming Atari token, Atari VCS game system, and other future projects. Again, Litecoin is getting more publicity with this, and they're going into a new industry, which is the gaming industry. So they will be more recognized in the gaming industry. Litecoin has also partnered up with Bitcoin Rewards to help you earn Litecoin by shopping online. Again, this gives people an incentive to use Litecoin when they are shopping online because they then know that they will get rewards from using the cryptocurrency. Litecoin Foundation partners up with Mekon Cash, enabling fiat withdrawals at over 13,000 ATMs across South Korea. Again, fantastic news. Litecoin is becoming more adopted all around the world and in South Korea now you can use your Litecoin and go to an ATM and withdraw fiat at over 13,000 ATMs. Litecoin Foundation partners up with a cred to offer financial services. So as you can see guys, there is a bit of a theme here. I'm showing you all the partnerships that Litecoin have had over the last six months to a year. Also, I'm showing you the reasons on why I believe Litecoin can go up. And the main reason is, guys, as you can see with a bit of a theme here, is mass adoption. Litecoin is becoming adopted all around the world. Supply and demand means people are going to start using their token. And when people start using their token, people are going to start needing to buy it on exchanges. When people buy the token on the exchange and the supply and demand means it can go up in value. But this is good right here because Cred is a licensed lender based in California it is the leading crypto backed lending and borrowing platform serving customers in over 190 countries so over 190 countries are now going to be able to buy or lend uh, Litecoin again fantastic Litecoin Foundation partners up with BlockFi to produce Litecoin users more option sorry provide Litecoin users more option again Mass adoption, mass adoption, mass adoption, mass adoption for Litecoin. More people are learning about the cryptocurrency and more people are going to be able to use the cryptocurrency. And if you didn't see this news, this was just recent news. US based crypto um, custodian, and I can't pronounce this company's name, have added Litecoin for support, the eighth largest cryptocurrency by the market. So the Litecoin is the eighth largest cryptocurrency on coin market cap. So basically, institutional investors can now store and trade Litecoin from their platform. The Visa back company now supports 27 cryptocurrencies, including Bitcoin, Ethereum, and then a load of other cryptocurrencies here. Litecoin is the fork of Bitcoin, which we've already discussed. So this does mean now institutional investors can buy into Litecoin. So all the things I've mentioned in this video, all the partnerships and Litecoin has the Lightning Network, which is a quicker version of their own network. And Litecoin is a quicker version of Bitcoin. So when people are trying to move money from one exchange to another, a lot of people do use Litecoin. So that's one of the reasons that the token can go up in value because a lot of people use Litecoin to move it around. If Litecoin becomes a privacy cryptocurrency, that's another reason it can go up in value. All the partnerships I've shown you in today's video is another reason the token can go up in value. Mass adoption in general is another reason. So there's a lot of reasons why this cryptocurrency can go up in value. I believe at the end of 2020, this cryptocurrency would be around 100 to $150 in my personal opinion. And I believe if we get a full on bull market like we saw in 2017, we could easily see Litecoin go to 350 maybe to $500 in the year 2021 if we have a full on bull market. Let me know guys in the comment section down below what you think of Litecoin. Do you think it's currently undervalued in today's market? I do, but let me know what you think down below. Also comment another cryptocurrency that you want me to take a look at next. At the end of this video as well guys, I just want to say a massive thank you to you guys for viewing the videos. This is my first video since I've been back on YouTube that's got over 1,000 views. So I just want to say thank you to you guys for watching. And also this one is about to go over 1,000 views as well. And we did mention this cryptocurrency here, Cosmos, um, and the token is called Atom in this video here. And I said I was going to do a more in-depth video on it. So go and watch that as well.
the time this video comes out this will be 24 hours old so definitely go and watch that video if you want to learn more about the cryptocurrency thank you so much for watching and i hope you have a great day